face out the system. Empower yourself. Grow food at home. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Grow Food at Home podcast, episode 10. I'm your host, Jack Sanquist. And today is a very exciting day because it will be my last episode. Hold on. Recording by myself. (laughs) I'm going to start having guests on and I think it's going to be great. A lot of people um, seem to enjoy my banter and kind of my perspective and and I feel like I'm bringing a lot of value to you guys um, discussing this content. However, I really think having another person in the conversation is going to enhance everyone's experience and uh, be really good. You know, a lot of these Guests are going to know a lot of things I don't know and uh, bring a lot of great insights and uh, and wisdom to the table. So um, I think it's going to be really cool. I have like an amazing lineup of people um, who are going to uh, be a part of the next, uh, you know, you know, podcast to come. And I'm really excited. So I think I'm really going to blow your minds with these guests. And uh, yeah, so it's very exciting. Um and I've been thinking about what my last podcast solo was going to be. And I've been thinking about the last couple of days and I, and I kept coming back to like something that's really like served me so well. And I really want to get through to you guys. And that is do your own thing. Do you <laughs> like, it's so it's so pertinent to not to really honestly disregard what other people think of you, think what's best for you completely. You have to really follow your gut, your intuition and your heart. Like really what is good for me and what do I want to uh, pursue? And, uh, and if you follow that, mindset in your life um it's gonna lead you to a beautiful beautiful life so yeah so that's what i'm discussing today and you know like it's so simple and people say oh yeah yeah, but but really our decisions shape our life and i think i've said that on this podcast before but it's a lot of people go day to day just like unconscious and 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 making decisions for other people you know for you know when I was younger, I cared about, you know, what my friends thought so much. I cared about, you know, appeasing the, the, the teacher or the authority figure, you know, my parents. Like, so I, I, you know, I would continue like, you know, getting gas paid for or whatever, you know, I was doing all these things for other people. And I realized it doesn't, no matter what the consequences or repercussions were, at one point, I realized this. At one, no matter what the repercussions were, I need to follow my heart and, and follow my dreams and do whatever I want. So, for example, I dropped out of school and everyone, including my parents, including my siblings, including my friends, everybody said that it was a mistake and don't do it. And guess what I did? I still did it. <laughs> Most people... Would have probably said, yeah, no, you're right. I'll just do it. I'll, you know, I don't want to disappoint people. I'm going to continue doing what I don't want to do because these people want me to do it. And most people would do that, but I decided, fuck that. I'm going to do my own thing. And I'll tell you what, it wasn't the easy road, but it sure as hell led me to a lifestyle that I so freaking set out for, um, you know, seven years ago when I dropped out of school. Yeah, six, seven, seven years ago now. Um, and yeah, so I just, it's so easy to just like fucking submit to what, what, what everyone wants you to do. And, um, you know, do what you're told. It's easy. It's easier to do that. But I've, I've found like, if you want a special life, you have to do special things. It's so simple. Like, but it's definitely not 
the fucking default route. Like you have to really like wake yourself up and say, no, I got to, uh, I got to go above and beyond. I got to work late nights. I got to go seek out the people who can teach me what, what I need to learn in order to become a master in the field. I want to master whatever that is. And, uh, yeah. So, I mean, I love freedom personally and, the ultimate freedom is not being a slave to other people's judgment. The ultimate freedom is not being a slave to other people's judgment. And that's huge, man. Like, because all it is is other people's judgment. They don't know what's good for us at the end of the day. Maybe sometimes they do. But, um, I mean, obviously don't do destructive, self-sabotaging um, activities. That's not going to be good for you, like... Don't, 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 don't self-mutilate and say, oh, I don't care about other people's opinion. I'm going to do my own thing. <laughs> what, what I'm saying is you have to really like based on, um, you know, you know, wise decision making, <laughs> uh, you, you know, you, you got to, uh, you got to, you know, set out to, 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 follow, you know, to do what you want to do in this world, whatever that is. And that's my message to you today. Um, and it's like, and I can't stress it enough because like people, like I can't, I can't tell you how much I went against the grain in order to get where I want to be. And it's funny, like just today, someone from school hit me up and it's cool. Like they hit me up. They're like, dude, you're blowing up. I want a garden. Like it's badass what you're doing. And in my mind, it's like, Hell yeah, like, but no one thought it was cool when I said I was going to work on a farm sophomore year of, of undergrad, you know, everyone was, you know, second year of school, everyone was trying to, you know, party and go to football games and, and, uh, and get their parents money and spend it on, on, on bottles or whatever. I fucking, my parents cut me off from school when, or, or, or when I dropped out of school. And I said, I don't care. I'm going to make it work. I'm going to follow my dreams. I'm going to um, travel the world and I'll do it on a shoestring budget. <laughs> and it has been a long journey since then. But I pretty much learned how to, how to farm. I've learned how to grow food and I'm helping bring it to the people. And I mean, imagine if I just said, yeah, no, I'm going to finish my communications degree and, um, you know, work for some graphics company and and that was that and I sit in front of a cute I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing today and impacting so many people's lives like I really am fucking stoked and grateful for the position I'm in because I fucking did my own thing <laughs> so uh yeah and it's not even over because I continue to make tough decisions every day um because I believe in them right like, and I'm, and once you really like, I remember when I was younger, like when I was a child, I was so easily influenced. And it's like, I've heard one time that when you don't, when you stand for nothing, you fall for anything. So you really, you also have to get to a place where you really know where you stand, like where you have principles, where you, where you know what, uh, you're you're into and what your you know your boundaries are and and all of those things um before you really embark into the free world <laughs> go from child to man because it's important because you could it's a slippery slope out there too if you make the the poor choices so um and I've learned my lessons the hard way in a lot of ways as well so you know I haven't been on the up and up it wasn't a straight incline to it, since since I dropped out of school, that's for sure. But um, it definitely um, accelerated my journey into doing what I love. So do you, do you is my message. <laughs> and that's all I got for you guys today. But hey, I'm really excited to bring um, some guests. And um, I think it's going to like kind of blow your guys' mind, like where we're going to go with all this. And we're really trying to change the world, change the food system, and empower ourselves for real. So uh, thank you guys for joining the journey. Like, it's been awesome. And uh, I can't wait to see where it goes. 
if you're into this podcast, feel free to like hit me up on 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 Instagram and just like tell me you're uh you're stoked on it. Like that gets me excited and fuels me to do more of this. I'm kind of just doing it as an avocation right now, just on the side for free, and it's all good. Um, I just want to get the word out about uh you know growing your own food and uh just good vibrations all around. Um, but yeah, feel free to hit me up, you know, send me, send me topics you want me to discuss or just, you know, say what's up. I'm really, uh, I'm really stoked on everyone's passion as well. And it fuels me. Um, so yeah, next episode, I think you guys are going to very much enjoy. Please stay tuned and, uh, let's create abundance together.